Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Vayne in the mid lane. We're running Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Cut the Grass, Overgrowth, and Conditioning. I'm going to build a full attack speed on her. Just attack as fast as possible because the faster I attack, the more silver bolts I can apply, which is max health true damage. So, faster means more damage. Create like a laser beam. Let's see, does it still have AP scaling? What do they give to Vayne? AP scaling on Q? And then Rageblade gives some AP. I may build an Asher's Tooth just because it gives like 50% uh, attack speed. But we'll see. I don't want to push. They have Shaco. Shaco likes to do like red buff and then just gank a lane. Usually they've been going bot though. But my bot lane is not pushed out, so... He may stop by mid or top. Also, they have double ignite. I started with a call, so I need to play extra safe. I pass judgment. Very squishy early. She's kind of backing up. I feel like Shaco is going to be here. It's either me or Orn. I didn't push, though, so... Oof. So close on that minion. He's probably not coming here. Well, I missed a few to tower, but I'm still up on her. So that's good. I think we're going to do Blade of the Ruined King into Rage Blade, and then maybe like Phantom Dancer, just more on hit or attack speed. Oh, we're going to get her flash here. We might actually even kill her. I don't want to E her, because as soon as I E, she's going to flash and get away. Nice. She didn't flash at all. I think even if she flashed there, she would have died. Because then I would have just flash autoed or even tumbled, because I still had that up. So nice. So because I just sat under turret, uh, Zach was e able to get an easy gank. Let's see, I don't have enough for my boots. I need one more wave. Which Diana's gonna be back in time. Because Vayne actually doesn't have good wave clear. Vayne's have been building static shiv for wave clear, but I don't think I'm gonna build it. Because once I start attacking really fast, I'll have wave clear. Also, I can't build a runins, because if you build a runins, you hit three times. Okay, I hope Shaco's not here because I Okay, he's here. I'm running. Oh, they got two ignites. I had to flash just in case. Probably could have got away without flashing, but I don't want to take the risk of dying there. It was pretty obvious Shaco was ganking because if she took that all in and he wasn't there, I I would have killed her. But they they have double ignites, so I could have died if I got hit by one more spell and then an ignite. I have no sums now. I'll just chill. I have boots at least, so I'm fast, but they have dashes. I think his Blade of the Rune King doesn't give like a ton of attack speed, but it's so vital for Vayne. Because it's my only lifesteal item I can build. They will be purified. And it melts tanks. We want to melt tanks. If I got that one. I don't think I'll get this one. Oh man. If I eat a little bit quicker. Silver of the I didn't need to hit that one. Also, I'm just back from my little vacation. I was able to take two days off because of the new mode. You guys probably didn't even notice I was gone. Actually went outside and I touched some grass. Yeah, we'll maybe do some more 2v2 modes when it comes out, but I, I think I'm a little burnt out of that mode now. I use E to proc a third hit. Your E counts as a silver bolt stack, but it really doesn't do as much damage as a normal auto. It does a little bit less, unless you hit him into the wall. 
But if you're using it for the third hit, you're either doing that because you won't have enough time to get a third auto off. Or, I guess that's the only reason. Or you hit him into a wall or something. Or maybe it has a little bit longer range. No, it's the same range. I should beat this guy as long as I just stay calm. I know he has a box there. I, hear the innocent. I shouldn't have hit him there. She's not level 6, though. At least Shaco doesn't come over this wall. Oh. Yeah, I need a uh, Blade of the Rune King first. Blade of the Rune King, Rage Blade, and then we'll just build as much attack speed as we can. I may even build a Nashers, because I'm looking for the attack speed. Nashers isn't the greatest, but it'll make up for me only having 25% here if I get a 50% item. Plus the Rage Blade gives like a tiny bit of AP, which makes the Nashers a little bit better. Because Nashers Tooth on hit damage is actually really bad unless you have like a few hundred AP. Because a Wit's End would actually just do a lot more. I'm going to build that too, but... It'll do Wit's End Nashers Phantom Dancer. I don't think there's any items that give... Any more attack speed than those three. I'm going to keep farming because even if my team loses, I mean, look at my comp. I have a bunch of frontline tanks. I'm going to get upgraded too. I didn't even realize that. I have a Tarek. Basically, if I just make it to late game, we win because I should be able to melt them. Now, Granted, they have a lot of CC with Ash Arrow, Seraphine, Shaco boxes, so that could take me out, but... Late game Vayne is so disgusting. I shouldn't tumble into her, actually. I still probably win an all-in, because all she has is a Blasting Wand. As long as she doesn't, like, completely one-shot me, I'm fine. Ah, uh, right when I tumble, too. I should have known Shaco's just only going to be mid. That was my bad. I tumbled, and then I didn't have a uh, tumble for my alt to go in, Viz. But yeah, we'll just sit back, because every time I, I go out, Shaco's here. Wait. Oh, man, she almost died. Zach has jump. I got life steal now. How does Zach not see this? I guess he wasted his jump on the camp. He might still be able to find her. Should have pushed Diana away when she... No. An auto attack wouldn't have gotten the cannon there, so I tried to auto E. I do dragon while she's base. Shaco's top. It's a really big Olaf. I should still be fine to carry this game. I am a vein. We can go bot after. I may even go bot now. They're backing up though. Yeah, Olaf's only gonna get stronger. Oh no, the turret's gone. I guess I'll just go in for like a short trade to poker, but watch Shaco just be here again. Oh no, how does he keep dying? Oh. Oh my god, I outplayed her so hard there. I don't think Shaco's E plus Ignite can kill me unless he can get the auto attack. But I should see him before he can get the auto attack. I'm really close to turret. If I go for these, he's going for me. It is AD Shaco. I just have to leave the wave. 
Okay, so they're coordinated. Ash just ulted me into Dianol, and I'm lucky Shaco wasn't there. I'd be dead. This is going to be hard, though, because uh, top lane's losing so hard, like, it might almost be GG. Because he's going to lose an inhib probably by 15 minutes at this rate. Because he's only going to die more and more. And then I don't really do damage till I have two items. Ooh, we might get her. Yeah, we got her. He's got a minion, too. Nice. That's a freebie. See, now she's pushing up a little too far. But she can afford to die. I, hear the innocent cry. I can't afford to die. I need all the XP I can get. Let's see, we have no vision of Olaf, so he might come down with Shake. Okay, I see Olaf. Shaco shouldn't be able to 1v1 me, but as soon as I see Diana, I need to run. Conditioning pops, so I get a little bit of resistance. I have Blade. Call's almost ready. Two more waves. How's Bob doing? Oh, that should be a kill. Okay, that was an easy kill for them. She didn't even try to run away. She must have already flashed or something. Where's Ash going first? Triforce? Diana's going Nasher. She definitely has either Shaco or Olaf behind her. Should be fine still, though. We've got three. Oh, my God. She's not even worth money anymore. I could beat this guy. Where's Shaco? I agree. That's fine that Orn missed that, because then I got the kill. We actually don't want Orn to get a kill, just like uh, Diana doesn't want to get a kill here, because if she's going to keep dying, it's not going to be worth any money. Like, Orn's probably only worth 150 gold also. But, if he would have gotten a kill, he'd be worth 300 again. We see Shaco here. I mean, it'd probably be best to fight if we're going to fight before Diana gets back. But we're going to run into boxes right here. And an arrow and a seraphine ult. So river is not really the greatest spot to fight. I'm just gonna push mid lane so they come back. They might turn on me. We could get Ash. Wow. I even kited Olaf. He just straight up walked at me and killed me because he's so fun. I thought he would at least die. My blade didn't do anything. Save with my passive. I need one minion. Oh no, we need to save this turret. What are we doing? Well, we didn't lose that fight too hard. I really thought I'd get Olaf. Armor boots are just that busted. I mean, I got exhausted too. I need to run. Hmm. I'll do Rage Blade. Attack speed. Once I have Rageblade, Olaf will get melted, but that's pretty crazy how long he survived. Ooh, Fire Dragon. I mean, I don't really care for this because I do damage even if I have AD or not, but we should actually try and fight them while their alts are down. In the dark, all is laid bare. I don't know who to hit. If I hit Ash, oh wow, it's gonna go for me. I got clipped on the wall. And then he got another wall up here for him. That's fine, we'll get Seraphine, I think, unless she has flash. Darn, I really want that Olaf shut down, because that's gonna give me like half of an item. But he uh he ghosted and he ulted, so he won't have ghosts next time to run me down. So we'll be okay. And the second I kill him, I get Rage Blade. This is looking good. We're actually not too far behind. Their team fight might be pretty decent. Because Shaco might assassinate someone. Lindsay. 
He definitely knows what he's doing. See, now he's gonna just wait mid, try to bait me into Shaco. Oh, Shaco's dead. Or Diana. I don't know who died top. I don't know if I could help Zach. This might be a bad move. Um, really don't want to buy the book. I'll sell this for that. Yeah, for just having armor boots, this guy takes like no damage right now. Oh no. Probably need to give that. Or at least wait till we're there. But I don't have ult, so I have nothing to peel him off me. Because Olaf can run through my, my tanks. He doesn't get CC'd. I just want XP for the cannon. I'll take it, I got it. Got level 11. What the heck was that ability? Wait, what was that? Yeah, we just give it. We'll get mid turret or something. What was that noise right there? There's no enemy champion over here. Maybe it was Seraphine? I want to get this turret, but they'll all in me. Ah, uh, you know what? That's actually not worth my flash for a 0-6 Dino. I just really wanted some action. Oh yeah. Oh my god, he almost got away. Okay, never mind. That's fine. We didn't even need flash to kill him. Actually, the, the Herald's still up. I can go help him. He's not gonna die to Shaco anytime soon. We get this now. Oh, see? I didn't have time. I didn't have time to auto again there, so I E'd, and I got two hits off really quick, which procced the Silver Bolts, and I think it hit him into the wall. And he died because of it. Otherwise, he would have got away there if I tried to auto attack a third time. Okay, see, Vayne's, Vayne's getting big. Olaf got melted there because I had ult and ghost to run him down. Like, if, if he's not able to hit me and he's running away, he's always going to lose a fight. Okay, we can get another turret here, I guess. Oh, I might be dead. Okay, luckily... Okay, Olaf's getting tilted. I feel like he should have got me there. Did he not have ult? Because he got CC'd by my team. Okay, okay. Rage Blade. Let's see. Wits or... Let's do PD. Phantom Dancer actually gives more than uh, anything else. What do I want? I want this. Because once I auto, is it three or four times? Four times for an extra 30% attack speed. This gives 65%. Did they buff it? I, th I thought it gave 55% when it was stacked. It must have changed it with the ADC update. So That's a lot of attack speed. Dude, they're coming mid and dancing mid because they don't know what to do now. Um, I actually don't mind if they get a Mountain Soul or even all the Mountain Drakes because I do true damage. I'm just going to keep pushing mid. I don't want to fight in the river because it's too easy for me to get caught because we don't have vision. If I push mid, somebody's going to have to come mid for me or I'm getting this turret. And I see them all at the dragon, so... Oh, just give me one auto. Darn. I wasted my ult. I thought I'd be able to get to her quicker. Got Tarek. You can give the dragon. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, he tried stealing. It's okay as long as we stop them from going to Baron. Because if they were smart here, their whole team should run to Baron and do it. Because there's only three of us. It is. They could do a 20 minute Baron with a Fettel Loft. Have all. 
I just need a ward right here. The shadows are to be feared. I got my item. We can also melt Baron even without a jungler. Like, Vayne does a lot of Baron DPS. More attack speed. Uh, I'm gonna lose mid turret. It's fine. I don't need it anymore. I just need people next to me. He's not even getting it. That's good. I have to be very careful, though. One Ash Arrow or one Seraphine ult ends my career. Of being a vein for 30 seconds. I'm starting to attack pretty fast, so I, I almost have 2.5 without a uh, lethal tempo going over. Get down with me. I don't want to be standing in front. Because if Ash does decide to arrow, I at least want somebody to be in front of me to eat it. Wonder why Olaf's not uh, splitting anymore. I think he wants to take me out. Oh, we wasted Ornal. I'm just going to sit in the back because even if we start losing the fight and the front line dies first, if I'm still alive and the enemies burned all their spells, I'm going to be able to clean up. Honestly, we could start this with Dinobot. Bring them to us. They don't even have vision, so we might get it before they even know. No, they know. This might not be good. Oh, never mind. Peel off. We don't have smite. I'm not giving them a free. That might be GG if we even ace in here. Oh, I got pulled back in. Oh. I'm still alive. Shaco. I don't know if I can get Shaco. Oh, he's back there. That's a clone? I still have a lot of time for a Penta, though. Oh, that was an easy Penta. Not bad. See? Vayne made it to late game, and Vayne just wins in team fights. Olaf tried to get me, but he went in first alone. I need to be CC'd. I can kite Olaf. Even without him being CC'd, I'm faster than him. As long as I don't get hit by the axe. I'm just gonna keep fighting him here, I don't care. I'm not beating these two, but that's fine. More money for me, more builds! I'm kinda glad they didn't FF after that Penta, because I got more items to build. I got PD. I'm just gonna build the Nashers, why not? At least they don't get Baron off me dying because I took out their volley. But see, I'm I'm kind of crucial for killing that guy unless he takes some turret shots. But Zaya actually does damage too. His lack of armor is starting to show. Because he he has the armor boots which are really good until I start doing so much true damage. Okay, see, this only applies 43 on hit. If I were to build a Wits, we're level 15. It'd do like 70 on hit. The shadows are to be feared. I'm attacking really fast. And, and you can't build Runins on Vayne? I think I already explained it, or maybe I cut myself off when I was doing it. Because you hit three targets, and Silver Bolts resets every auto, I think. So you can never apply Silver Bolts. It's actually really bad. I mean, I kind of want to run into him, but also I need to remember that I may have just pentakilled, but I could still instantly die. We should, if they're going to this, we go to this. We can give Dragon for a Baron. Yeah, I just need somebody to tank. I'll just start it. I might attack fast enough that it doesn't kill me. Why is nobody here? Right, there is 
And Zach doesn't actually need to be here. He just needs to stop them from getting here first. She wants to go in. Let's see right here. Shaco's going to try and get me. Killed a off in three autos. Oh my god, Shaco's like one HP. Where is he? He's over here. Oh no, he's mid. I'm basically a pentakill machine at this point if I can catch him. Look how much damage I'm dealing. I didn't see where my attack speed went to there. It was pretty fast. You have no minions. I mean, if they kill me, they can win the fight. If they don't kill me, they just lose. They got probably one more chance at this rate before getting an inhib here. I don't have ult. I'm just gonna stand still. Well, that actually didn't really play out how I wanted it to. I got arrowed finally. He might survive, because Zaya can kill Shaco. Oh, so close. Oh my god, he's doing a lot of damage. Okay, they killed each other. Orn's dead too. Orn can't get away. Wits! Alright, I've completed all the attack speed items. I could sell these boots for like a Kraken Slayer or something. I may. Orn may have had a kill there if he didn't W the wrong way. I think I'm just going to build Tenacity Potions, so if I get arrowed, it's not as bad. Well, there's no objective on the map for them to take right now. Next thing is Dragon. And, like I said, Dragon Soul, it, it's not going to make them die slower. Like, I kill them, I melt them like butter now. I've been melting them like butter for the last 10 minutes. They can still win, though. They take me out, my death timer is going to be like 40 seconds. They could definitely end. If they had Baron. So I have 2.5 attack speed without anything stacking up now, I think. You use a red buff. Oh, Orn's gonna upgrade you too. I think the Orn upgrade's gonna give me more attack speed too. Could just A-Ram him. You know, for how many times Orn died, he's at only two levels behind me and one level behind Olaf. Olaf really should have just stayed top, kept abusing the weak link that he was uh, fighting top. He came mid, though, and threw me money. And, yeah. I might just go in offensive here. Because I know the arrow's down. I know the arrow's down, so I can just run them over. Oh my god, 3.39 Quadra. If I get them one by one like that, it's just over. I had to take the opportunity. Hey, two Pentas. Let's go. It's been a long time since I've gotten two Pentas in a video. What a perfect game. GG. Great enemies. Lately, like, people have been giving up as soon as I, like, ace one fight. And I appreciate them for playing that out. That was really fun. I had 3.3 something attack speed. 3.34. We rounded up. But you saw how fast their health bars were melting when I was attacking that fast. I mean, every, like, two autos, I'm doing, like, over 10% of their max health. Way more than that, I think. I give it to Orn for hanging in there. I thought it was going to be a much rougher game, but they actually. So like, Seraphine needed to just alt me as soon as I was going in there, but I think I had flash up, so I would have just flashed it. Okay, we did 49k damage. How much true damage? 
10k. Okay. So, I mean, that's like what... I don't, I don't know how to do math right now. I'm too out of it. It's like 10% true damage or something. 20% true damage. 143 lethal tempo up time. That's actually pretty good. Cut the Grass did 1400. And other than that, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out my website, swag.gg. I have some custom keyboards. I have some really nice ones coming in. I'm just waiting for the cases for them. And I'll have more on the website soon. If you see something you like, then uh, let me know in the, what is it, contact thing. I can remake anything I've made before. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. And see you later.